Hello guys, Life Hackster here. Today I'll show you an open space. Yep, if you have been following my channel, you know that my old rusted shed is gone. It's since I had it since 2007, so it's been about 12 years. I did a time lapse video on how we took this down using this setup. Yep, the Wise Cam Pan and Through the Glass. So if you haven't seen my Through the Glass window setup using the Wise Cam, I'll link it down in the description below. And also I have a time lapse video setup which I will also link it down below. And before I show you the time lapse footage, I'm gonna show you something. right here you see that so we've been harboring a snake under the shed uh well i'm I, i'm almost positive there's snakes in here anyway so but luckily when we took it down there are no snakes so i'm gonna roll the time lapse footage The time-lapse feature of the Wise Cam works pretty good and while it is doing it, the camera will still function normally, like recording motion events and send you push notifications if you have it set up. I'll be doing another time-lapse video when my new shed is going to be built or I guess assembled in the next couple of days and I will show it to you guys on another video, which I'll give you a hint. It will be an update video of my solar lights, which has been about a year now since my original video. Anyway, sometime next week. Funny thing is that when I was filming this video, I received a comment from the through the glass video using the Wise Cam from some Martin MD. And he said that you don't need to have a shell for the Wise Cam. And if you use the included round metal mount and stick it on the window with a mounting tape, you can install the Wise Cam upside down and it will be pretty close to the glass, which is what we want. Thank you, Sam, for the tip. So I have to test it. With the included metal plate, you just need to stick it to the glass. Make sure you have enough clearance for the Wise Cam below it. Then just stick the Wise Cam on its magnetic base to the metal plate and adjust the arm so that you will get the lens to be almost pressed on the glass window. And that's it. The only thing that we need now is to go to the settings, advanced settings, and toggle the rotate image 180 degrees. And viola. The camera's view will now be right side up. This is how it will look like inside. And this is how it will look like outside. And now a quick video quality test and audio if it can be heard through glass. I don't know if you can hear, but this is what it looks like through the glass or through the window set up with a white cap. So in my first video about this setup, a week or so after I posted it, Wisecam updated their app and firmware and now you can toggle the infrared LED on the camera to off, which needs to be done with this setup because of the infrared glare when the infrared light is reflected back to the camera lens because of the window glass, which makes the footage unusable. 
So now you can purchase an infrared illuminator which you can install outside. And now you don't need to turn off night vision on the camera and it will be able to see at night. Now I'm not into infrared black and white night vision though. And if you have been following my channel, the outside of my house is surrounded by lights. I have solar lights, battery, and wired lights, and most of them are activated by motion. In my backyard and on this test, my main light will be Mr. Bean's floodlight. But you will also see my ring spotlight cam wired and the Maximus Kuna floodlight illuminating the background. So now we will compare the footage with my motion activated lights turned on with the Wisecam's night vision turned off, which the camera will record in color. And when it is on, and that's when it records in black and white. You will also see the difference between the video quality of the regular Wisecam and the Wisecam pan. So let's check it out. So now we are going to test the video quality of the Wisecam pan and also the regular Wisecam. And this with the night vision off. Let's see here. And advanced settings. And this with the night vision off and also the infrared lights are off. And it's the same setting as the Wisecam pan. And we'll see what it looks like. Now I will have my lights on and I have my Mr. Beams right here and I have my spotlight cam, my ring spotlight cam. That's the light that you're seeing right now. And we'll see how it goes. And this is with the LTE connection. And you will see here it will light up there you go the mr. beams and also my see when the notification will be there you go so there is a delay in notification but I have the uh, AI the Wisecam AI person detected as you can see I got that notification but it's a little bit delayed Okay, so we are going to test now with the uh, Wisecam set in auto, which is basically a black and white recording, but the infrared LEDs are off, which is turned off. And uh, this setting, and any Wisecam or any camera, actually, if you set it inside looking out through a window to a glass window then basically you need to turn off the infrared if not you're gonna have the infrared glare Anyways, that's it for this quick update and don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it yet. And click that little bell icon so that you'll get notified when I upload update videos like this video, product reviews, comparison videos, and long-term reviews. Thank you.